I'm in Temp, brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. Attention. Attention. They are not ready for prime time. Prime time. Prime time. Prime time. That's the name. Prime time. Prime time. What time is it? Showtime, prime time. It's XL Prime Time. Featuring Joe C. I reduced my toilet paper down to three squares. Matt Hayes. Big asses and big thighs, yeah. And Leon Searcy. Bringing you love, peace, and soul. How you like me now? How you like me now? Oh, yeah. Friday. Friday. Little big hair, heavy metal. We are ready to rock and roll this afternoon, that's for sure. We're getting into plenty of things today, but, you know, we can't help but want to begin with the goings-on at Augusta because this is what I do. You know, I'm a, I'm a golfer, so I'm paying attention all the time. Uh, my favorite stretch of the year is the players to the FedEx Cup because you can go from March to August and you will have championship golf, championship settings every single month from the players on. So it's always a fun time of the year. And you say out there, hey, it ain't football season. Well, I get it, but there's so much else going on. And so this is when I try and lasso Leon and Maddie and RJ. I'm like, okay, you guys got to watch this. Now, they didn't finish the first round yesterday, so they had to come back early today. So that was actually a little extra treat uh, for a lot of fans just to be able to tune in this morning and see Tiger go back out there uh, and it's a battle. You watched him all the way up until the turn today. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I left the house and came over here, he was like plus one. Yeah. And he was plus one when we checked the last time. Yeah. You know, he had – listen, he had, a, he had a card – he had some zeros and squares going along his card <laughs> when I checked it out. A lot yeah. of bogeys, a couple of birdies here and there, but whatever. But uh, that win has been – that win is it's, something else, bro. And we've had it down here, yeah. but it is like whistling through I those mean, big Georgia Hunter, pots. Hunter golfers, right? Uh, 90. 90, okay. Mm-hmm. Really, I think it might even be 89. That's why I Ten. call it the easiest major to win. 10 right now are at two under or better. Mm-hmm. The rest are at one or worse. What on One under or worse. And mm-hmm. there's a lot of on the red side, if you know what I mean, on that yeah. top 90. Well, red's good if you're in red figures in the game of golf. Okay. Or green, I should yeah. say that. Yeah, well, green. No, honestly, red figures <laughs> means you beat par. Okay, so when you're mm-hmm. – we got to get the lingo right. Right, when so you're green in, then, right? Yeah, when you're when you're in the red in golf mm-hmm. on the leaderboard, that's a good thing. When you're in the red in business, that's a bad I'm thing. Staring at the leaderboard, and then reds are not good. So, yeah. so green is not good, is what you're telling me. Yeah. Well, the official the, the official <clears throat> tour lingo. Well, I'm just telling you, in the red, if you shoot a red figure round, you're beating par. All right. That's all I'm saying. No, no. And and Augusta has a a different way of doing almost everything. They even take the word leaderboard and split it up. And then they have the prior to the left of their leaderboard. What do you mean leaderboard? Split leaderboard. Up. Everyone else spells it all one word. The way the English language spells it? Yeah. One word? Augusta separates it. They've just got their own way. Leader hyphen board? Or just, no, leader, just leader space board? Board. Uh, it's just how they roll. And they call it the, uh, the first nine, the second nine. They've got all their own language you're not allowed to uh, talk about the fans those are the patrons mm. so they've got all sorts of different they differentiate things. themselves from all the oh, other tours you, I understand you better snobby. believe it man. Nah, i'm just saying yeah, bro. Huh? You're a little snobby oh, well, dude. well there's yeah. nothing wrong little, with that it's working toity. yeah it's working uh there's plenty of hoity-toity out there that, that doesn't work this one's working that's for sure but i tell you what <laughs> the first the first day everything that we were treated to was just awesome and now you're trying to figure out which one of these guys is going to be able to stay at the top. We're going to see whether or not Bryson DeChambeau, who was fighting back uh, or posted the early score and then lost the lead, now fighting back. And so there's all sorts of good stuff going I can on. tell you one guy that's not happy that he had a good round yesterday, Scotty mm-hmm. Scheffler. Yeah. He had a great round. He did. Absolutely. And uh, I tell you what, he went out with a clean card, did not mess himself up, mm-hmm. never really puts himself in a bad spot. That's the thing that you absolutely – Did he go bogey-free? Yeah. 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 I thought he went bogey-free, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and so that's what you got to love about mm-hmm. the the way he plays the game is he never really – it, it, it doesn't look like he's playing conservatively, but he is playing smartly. 
Yeah, well, listen, I, I know that I didn't mishear what I heard this morning when I was watching the Masters or whatever, and, and some guy, some odds guy came on that was talking about the, who mm-hmm. was the betting odds or whatever, and, and your guy, Bry, Bryson uh, DeChambeau, mm-hmm. was, was leading by one stroke. Mm-hmm. But Vegas had Scheffler, the odds on favorites, even though he was one stroke behind him. I was like, how does that happen? Well, well how does that happen that the, he, this guy is one stroke behind the leader and he's still favored to win the match? I still think they probably look at his – either consistency or performance level there, mm-hmm. and they've seen DeChambeau blow up a time blow, or two. Right. Yeah. And so that's why they're not willing to it, give him that top spot. It's more about DeChambeau's yeah. ability to it, it, well, what, well, what, they, what they were saying is that because Scheffler was only one stroke behind, and they said that Scheffler had a stroke and a half. He was a stroke and a half favorite over DeChambeau, even though he was in the lead by one stroke. I said, that is some gangster stuff right there. <laughs> That's gangster. <laughs> well, you can definitely keep an eye on it here uh, as we'll go along with uh, with our leaderboard updates throughout the afternoon. That's for sure. Uh, but honestly, it's, it's, it's just such a great time to be able to see it. The weather after yesterday getting through that two-and-a-half-hour weather delay, wind is still kicking, but the rain's gone. Everything looks pristine, gorgeous, beautiful. You saw a few guys with some – uh, really tough spots, but then a lot of them have been just throwing darts at those pins in the first round. It'll get a little tougher. What's our combined score, through. by the way, in our little bet? I don't know. You're you're, you're, well, the, um, you're keeping track. Well, of I, I'm boy. keeping track of mine as, well. as of this morning. All right, right. I had John Rahm and, and Dustin Leonard, right. Dustin Johnson. Dustin all right, Johnson. Dustin Johnson. All right. So when I looked up this morning, uh, Dustin uh, Johnson was plus six, and John Rahm was coming in at plus plus one. So I'm plus seven right now. I mean, I don't know how that fares stacks up against you guys. Mm-hmm. Don't be right, no, so hey, got, listen, don't be no pencil whipping now. I no, remember I got, the guys you picked. I got Vic Hovland, and he's one under, mm-hmm. and I took Zach Johnson, who's four over. Which so is at I'm, least you took a guy that was uh, that has worn off the, the green board, jacket right. before. Well, off the board, really, because yeah, we were yeah. talking about off the board. Yeah. So, so I'm at plus three. You are where? You you took Shoffley and who? I took Shoffley and O'Bear. O'Bear, right. Uh, right now, i got to look at it to actually be sure because I'm keeping an eye on the so top. Zander's even. All I know is I told you that I was in the uh, pimento cheese pool, and you get six, and you get to toss two. And so Xander mm. was one of my selections. just so happened that Xander and, and Oberg were in the same pile, so I couldn't take both of those at the same time. But um, I am not sitting in a good spot right now. I can just tell you that. Well, you, you got, you're sitting a little better than me right now. I'm taking all the tailwind. I'm plus seven. <laughs> Where's uh, Oberg? Where is he? Do you know? Uh, I'll look here and find him in just one second again. The leaderboard yeah, he's even. <laughs> not ideal for me, okay? But Oberg was – You're uh, fine. You're even. You're yeah. leading us. Yeah. I'm in great shape right I'm, now. I'm three over. He's seven over. Yeah. And Shoffley right now is – is see, this is the other thing. Whenever you see the leaderboard, uh, if you go to themasters.com, it's got zero on it. And so you're like, well, that sounds kind of negative. Mm. But that's even. That's just flat. It's just the a way zero, they do it. Uh, next to Shoffley. And so right now he's – well, at the By very way, least, big league. He's a re- vegetables with that protein you bring in, all right? Mm-hmm. Huh? Some kind of vegetable. Well, right now, I mean, I was looking forward to the pork butt because you were going to you you would you lose it, but now you're in second place. So and, now and Matt, you might hey, listen, Matt was so worried yesterday he wasn't going to was. win. He started talking about that. He pork was butt. absolutely. I told him I would bring the I sides. I said I would just smoke a pork butt and bring it in. That's yeah. a lot easier. But here's what he brought today. You, hey, you can go to YouTube and you can see this. He brought us a nice little Tupperware looks good. of a smoked thigh, mm. uh, thigh. which you put on. You put it on the Weber. Weber. Yeah. On the Weber yeah. for like three hours, man. Yeah. Low and slow. Yeah. And, and I do plan on pulling a bunch of stuff uh, uh, either out of the freezer or out of the uh, produce section and throwing it on uh, for Sunday at Augusta. All right. So you guys hit the text line, 641 If you are tuning in, if you have watched uh, what's been going on up at Augusta, you got to feel uh, for what any of these guys are going to do. Jordan Spieth is just fighting like heck. I mean, this guy is just struggling uh, mightily. And up, down, up, down is the is – the, kind of first couple of days that he's had. Brooks Kepka, who really went on a tear as soon as he got there a year ago, is also kind of flatlined and sitting right there at level par. So we'll have an eye on a handful of these guys uh, and just kind of get an idea. Will Zalatoris playing well, especially after this time a year ago, was when he had to basically withdraw and go get uh, surgery on his back. Uh, because of disc problems, but he's hanging in there and playing well. And you got a handful of other ones uh, that Max we'll Homa. be keeping our eye on. Max Homa's at the Tiger, top, playing really well. And actually, but Deschambeau went back to the top. I should say, uh, Deschambeau picked up a birdie at seven, and so he's back to seven under par. Uh, and Homa is right there at six under. Scheffler hasn't actually. Scheffler has gone through the opening hole with a par, and he's sitting at six under. So 
those two guys are, are a shot back. Max Holm is very capable of winning a major. He's won at difficult golf courses. Quail Hollow, Riviera are two that come to mind. And so he has the game to do it. We'll see if he can hold up. He hasn't played particularly well uh, at Augusta or at all the majors uh, in, in his career, but definitely good enough. And you're always looking for that guy that just seems to reach that level of understanding, shot making, all that stuff, and it just all comes together. And we'll see whether or not that's, that, that's the case so, for him. So let's not bury the lead here today, mm-hmm. all right? Because Scheffler has decided that if his wife goes into labor, Mm -hmm. he's leaving. If you're in the lead. All right, we were going to do an ex-poll question that had to do with the draft. But I do think this is a good one to get into. He's out. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) He's out. If you're in the lead, Sunday at Augusta. And make sure, RJ, it says Sunday at Augusta. And your wife goes into labor. And you, you, you get word. Bro, you just hand the club to your caddy yes. and you walk off the golf course. Not even a question. Uh, would you or wouldn't you? Um, Which child is this? Who would cares? You? It could I'm, be I'm, child I'm 10. just asking the question. Asking you're you're question. saying you'd walk off? I, I, Absolutely, yes. Oh, I'd look at TLD uh, and I'd say, hey, baby, depends, I love you. I'll be there in a little bit. But, but, but depends on what number it is. If it's the first, yeah, absolutely, I'm gone. The second, maybe third. Uh, I'm you guys not sure. realize what that could lead to? Uh, what? Well, you guys realize to. what that could lead to? You know what that is? I'll just tell you this. Okay, that's like that's going in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Yeah, you, I your ain't wife leaving. going to labor, then you going, you know, you're Patrick Mahomes. You're like, I'm out of here, and you got the lead in the Super yeah. Bowl. That, that's you. I gotta go. What'd you do? Yeah. You gotta go, baby. I gotta go. Hey, you gotta st- stop. I'll it. just tell you stop this it. right now. No I ain't you. leaving. Okay, no I way you leaving. leaving. Absolutely. And not. I'll say, hey, TLD, the lovely Diane. Look, baby, I love you. I hear it's cold in the hospital. So I'm going to make sure I have a green jacket when I show up, okay? That's what I would be doing. I'll just tell you a quick story. She wouldn't remember that at all. Like, she would not well, remember that for the rest of her life at all. It's going to lead me to a quick story because this is, this is the legend. <laughs> um, and in some ways, it's not a good legend uh, of Joe C. You could be infamous or famous. So, young Hyla, my beautiful daughter. You got Annie, Michael, Hyla. And Hyla, I just adore and – it's about time for her to be born, and this coincides directly coincides with me getting a job in sports radio under Frank Franch. The day she was born, I went and interviewed with Frank Franch, October 30th, 1996. She was born. I We have the baby. Kiss her, hold her, hug her. Hey, hon, I'll see you later. I got to go for a job interview. Born at St. Vincent's. I go, and I go to sports bar over at the beach where Fran is doing a show, interview, come back, and she's there. TLD had to have the C-section, so we were there for a couple of days. Just so happens I'm working the Gator Network. It's the Florida-Georgia game. I go to the Florida-Georgia game, and I say, hey, I'll leave at the half because I produced the pregame show. I'll leave at the half. It was a great game. You can go back and see. It was a great game. And I'm like, I got to leave. I got to leave. I got to leave. And I kept stalling, kept watching the game. Took me a little bit of time to get out. By the time I got back to St. Vincent's over on Riverside, her best friend Julie and her in a wheelchair were out front. And boy, have I not lived that down Ever. yet. Ever. Right. Ever. I've not lived it down. But at the same time, I was pretty happy that I got a job the same day she was born. <laughs> right, but it's, a little, di- it's a little different when you've ar- you, your child's already been born, then yeah. you got to go to watch him. This, yeah, Matt. But still. Matt, it, how, many, how many yards did Freddie she have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you probably, yeah, you're probably right. You remember, yeah. you remember. Yeah. Come well, on, you that know TLD see. listens, right? Why oh, would yeah. you do oh, that? You're gonna put him in worse I now. Know. No, all, 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 all I know, all is, is that, forgiven, is that, is that it was an important moment for all of us, and so, and, and Hila always gives me a, a, a rough time for that one. But hey. well, that look on your face when you said, "I still, hear, I still hear that, hear about it." All right, so X tells poll. me that, yeah, yeah, you still hear about so it. So X poll question. You're leading on the back nine at Augusta on Sunday and a chance to win the Masters when your wife goes into labor. Are you walking off the golf course or not? All right, RJ, you can put that bad boy together. We'll put it out on X. you got to let us know. You can hit the text line, designed by Lifetime Enclosures, at 641-1010. You can definitely chime in there and let us know what, you, what, fair, what you would do. To be fair, the 509 on the text line kind of – Kind of encapsulates the entire process. Yeah. No freaking way I'm walking off the course 
But that could be why I'm divorced. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that I, is it in a nutshell right part, there. Yeah. yeah. If I still had a wife, uh, yeah, yeah. You can answer it any way you want, uh, but go ahead and give us some good answers. We would love it as we rock and roll uh, on a Friday. We've got big hair, heavy metal, but your rock and roll suggestions can cover any genre. We welcome it. 641-1010. you got RJ, the DJ, uh, that will definitely take some of those requests, and we'll try and crank them back out when we come back from break. Now, we've got the Masters. We're going to get into what Leon described as a three-piece combo. Okay, explain what a three-piece combo is. Well, three-piece, you know, chicken dinner. You, yeah. you, you go to any fine chicken establishment. I love that how you, you said that fine yeah, chicken establishment. Nice <laughs> establishment. You don't walk. You don't walk out of there without three pieces. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm coin, coinciding that with the Jaguars. Yeah. These these first three picks, 17, 48, and what 96. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Would what combination of player you would like? When, when it's all said and done, and those three picks, what combination? It could be yeah. DB, wide receiver, lineman, or defense alignment, offense alignment, DB, whatever. What would make you feel and good? And that's Friday night. Friday the night. time you get to Friday night, we we'll have a three-piece combo. Yeah. So I have a quick question. Yeah. yeah. On the Jaguars staff, which one of them is tight lady? Mm-hmm. On, the, on the Jaguars staff, <laughs> yeah. which one is tight lady? Because tight lady is where you get your chicken that's from. That's where I am, the tight lady. Which one I, of I those guys on the secrets. Jaguars staff is tight lady? I don't lady? know. That you, listen. <sighs> is it Trent? No, they ain't I Trent. don't think so. No, because no, no. you couldn't tell Trent. Trent don't give you nothing. He's gonna nah, get it for yeah, you. you can't get. I don't know. You know, they they first of all, they, they, the, they the, might the, need a tight lady. The tight lady is. You, you got to understand. I, the, the tight lady is is like, um, she, I, she's like something golden, something that you you treasure. Oh yeah. So I just don't I don't give that name away right. begrudgingly. I, I you know I begrudgingly give away that name to anybody. So they, I, I've got to they got to show me a little bit more before I get in the tight lady. Now. All right, we got plenty of responses. Six four one ten ten. We will put it on X as well, so you guys can offer it up as far as what you would do if you were leading. Uh, first kid, uh, one of our textures says, and I'm out. Anything else? I'm getting a green jacket. Uh, and then another one. Uh, what's the payday up at Augusta? Uh, yeah, no freaking way. I'm walking off that golf course. Uh, so we'll get into a handful of them. Let us know what you would do, 641-1010, or go to at 1010XL on X and offer up your suggestion. It's XL Primetime. Cruising with XL Primetime in the First Coast Honda Dealer Studios on 1010XL. Now, a Masters Update on 1010XL, brought to you by Vaughn Motor Group. From the Augusta National Golf Club, Westwood One Sports presents this special report on the Masters. I'm Ted Emmerich. Unforgiving wind here in the second round, 30 mile an hour gusts from the west, and they'll increase to 40 miles an hour later this afternoon. Bryson DeChambeau fighting through it. He sweeps in a birdie from 20 feet at seven to reclaim sole possession of the lead at seven under. So DeChambeau's back in the position he was in at the end of 18 holes. That's up by one. There are three players at six under par. Nikolai Hoygaard making his Masters debut. He was on Team Europe at the Ryder Cup last fall. Hoygaard is through 16 holes. He's one under for the day, six under overall. Also at minus six, Max Homa, who was at seven under before a bogey at 11. Homa responding with a par at 12, working through amen corner. So Homa's one back, and Scotty Scheffler just starting his second round, the number one player in the world with a par at the first. He is six under and one back. You're listening to coverage of the 2024 Masters on Westwood One. Now, now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do, so great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. Free. Who doesn't love free? With Milo's Rewards, you get the member-only treatment that's actually worth it. Enjoy free member gifts you'll love. And once you reach Silver Key status, you can get free standard shipping. Because Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash Milo's Rewards today. Program subject to terms and conditions. See Lowe's.com slash terms for details. Member gifts may be subject to additional terms and restrictions. See Lowe's.com slash shipping terms for details. Subject to change. 
Let's check the second round leaderboard at the 88th Masters, sponsored by Dell. Dell Technologies pushes what technology can do so your great ideas can happen right now. Learn more at Dell.com. DeChambeau, seven under. Hoygaard, Homa, and Scheffler, one back at six under. Danny Willett, former Masters champion, is at four under. Three off the pace. Willett is even today through nine. Cameron Davis, Corey Connors, Ryan Fox at three under, four back. It is a trying day for Tiger Woods. 23 holes in all when you factor in the five holes this morning to complete his first round but he's moving around well considering the fused ankle and fused back don't hand him crutches just yet tiger is one over today he is through 12 holes that's eight off the lead 2020 masters champion dustin johnson preparing to spend the weekend with paulina he's 11 over with eight holes to go from augusta i'm ted emrick westwood one sports hey it's matt hey spring is blooming and the last thing i need is an ac or plumbing issue but i'm not stressing because I know Fenwick Home Services has me covered 24-7. I'll have their certified technicians inspect my system, ensuring it runs efficiently and smoothly. They'll remove that nasty buildup of dust, pollen, and dander so I can breathe easier, too. Preventative care is where it's at. Don't hope you won't have a problem. Plan to make sure you don't. Avoid costly breakdowns by booking now at FenwickHomeServices.com forward slash radio. That's FenwickHomeServices.com forward slash radio. What makes a Honda certified pre-owned vehicle so special? 182-point inspection, 24-7 roadside assistance, first-year free oil changes, and a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty for carefree driving back by American Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today. Hey there, all you sports dads rocking the best dad bod possible. We love seeing you eat tacos by the handful, and we love it when you bring your kids here, too. For years, Lucy claimed that her favorite thing on the menu was sopapillas, the big scoop of ice cream. I know that's not a taco, but that never stopped her. I was shooting for dad of the year anyway, so I just let it happen. Taco Lou's a great place to bring the family. There's something for everyone, as long as it starts with a taco. And a margarita for mom is always a good thing. At Taco Lou in Jacksonville Beach. Gumbo Shrimp Baseball, presented by FIS, is home this weekend at 1-to-1 Financial Ballpark. Tonight is Red Shirt Friday with post-game fireworks, presented by Big D Building Center. Tomorrow, the first 2,000 fans get free Jumbo Shrimp pajama pants, plus more fireworks presented by Star and First Watch. Then is Baptist Health Sunday Family Fun Day. Log on to jackshrimp.com for tickets. Gumbo Shrimp Baseball, affordable, family, fun. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free. No credit cards, no car loans, no personal loans. Hey, it's Prosser here, and Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make that happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. So call now, 904-999-1508, 904-999-1508. That's LoanPronto.com at 904-999-1508. NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. At the First Coast YMCA, you'll find much more than just a gym. We offer many ways to help you be active, reach weight loss goals, and find your inner strength while you connect with your community. Family memberships at the Y include unlimited group exercise classes, child care while you work out, and youth sports participation. It's easy to join the Y and affordable for all. Plus, the Y is a great place to meet a new circle of friends. Visit the Y near you or online at fcymca.org. This right here will be the biggest moment of his career. A tradition unlike any other. The Masters, he'll get the green jacket. Amen Corner, Magnolia Lane, Augusta National. Yes. Coverage of the Masters on 1010XL is presented by Vaughn Motor Group. Hi, this is Dave Barker. Want to grow your hair back? IHRS, right here in Jacksonville, is the only hair transplant clinic in the Southeast to offer multi-unit hair grafting and the 45-minute PRP treatments. Grow your hair back. Call now for a free in-person evaluation. 904-777-IHRS. 904-777-4477. 
or visit hairforme.com. Crosser here. When it comes to the business of selling your home, there's one promise I can give you that will deliver, and that promise is chadandsandy.com. That's chad, A-N-D, sandy.com. How do I know this promise is guaranteed? Because they say so, and then they deliver. You see, Chad and Sandy guarantee your home sold at an agreed-upon price and deadline, or they will buy it. So whatever problems you think you're having selling your home, there is your simple solution. They're going to buy it if it's not sold for exactly what you want. Mortgage rates have lowered going into the spring selling season. Now is the time to maximize your equity, and you can do it with the real estate team of Chad and Sandy. They have a plan and the experience to sell your home fast for maximum cash this spring. John and Ursula in Green Meadows wrote in, I, we weren't in great health, decided to downsize to an easier place to manage. After 185 days, our home failed to sell. We went to Chad and Sandy, sold in 12 days. You can too at chadandsandy.com. I had an important job, and it wasn't just a job. It was keeping my brothers and sisters safe. And coming back, it felt like kind of thrown away. If it hadn't have been for Wounded Warrior Project, I honestly don't know if I would be here. It was like I got my family back again. We all felt the connection, like that brother and sisterhood. See how Wounded Warrior Project empowers women veterans like Donna by visiting woundedwarriorproject.org slash empower Suffering from erectile vets. dysfunction or PE? Frustrated taking pills that don't work? Here's a message from Prime Men's Medical Center. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Prime Men's Medical Center offers breakthrough treatments with men lasting longer than ever without pain or surgery. Call now. Your consultation and first treatment are free. You'll see instant results right in the office. Call Prime Men's Medical Center now. 904-664-8217. That's 904-664-8217. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville, it's a big hair, heavy metal Friday on XL Primetime. This is Trent Balky. I've been called a lot of things in my day, especially recently, but never the tight lady. I'll wear it with a badge of honor. Go Jags. That a boy, Trent. He is willing to serve up some chicken uh, and go with that nickname, that moniker, tight lady. That a boy, Trent. Man, man of many, many talents. That's for sure. All right, that's our guy on pop off. Uh, anytime you want to dial up the pop off line, 207 70 71, especially if you do want to fire off a funny call. We appreciate that's for sure. We appreciate it, that's for sure. The, uh, the, the funny responses that we've gotten on the text line, I don't know if you could call in and, and, and put those out you know as far as the tape recording goes because it would live in infamy uh but yeah there are plenty of them that are coming up the text line as to whether or not you would walk off the golf course if you're on the back nine on sunday in a position to win a green jacket and your wife goes into labor uh, from west side belvis i'm with big sars if it's the first one you probably got to go second or third they got to wait till i get that jacket there are plenty of other ones uh that's for sure uh, my wife would tell me to stay and win that big bag. Uh, win pays the bills. Uh, I am a woman, says one of them off the text line, and I don't think he should leave that course. Um, leave the course, stay, win the green jacket for me, baby. I love it. So everybody well, talking about winning the bag. If you walk off that course, mm-hmm. like in the middle of the fourth round with like a four-shot lead, do you? Ima- I mean, can you even? Uh, Imagine the number of sponsorships you're going to get because you did what you did. Um, Can you imagine? You'll make that tenfold, whatever you make for winning the match. Yeah, you'll be on Good Morning America. You'll be, yeah, all, the, all that all soft that, stuff. All that sappy stuff. All that all stuff. stuff. But, stuff. But, all, but guess what? They're all going to pay. But guess what? They're all going to pay, everybody. Oh, you're going to play? You're going to pay in the clubhouse, though. Yeah. Oh, Amongst yeah. the fellas? Yeah. Oh, they won't say nothing against you in public. You'll be cashing his check. Yeah. Yeah. Would I, I trade? Hey, I'm just Procter saying. Procter & Gamble. And I'm just would saying. I trade my, Bush, my Charmin those, sponsorship? Yeah. My Charmin sponsorship for that for that green jacket for the rest of my life? No way. I'm not. I'm not walking off that golf course. What if you already have one? Uh, He's already got one. That might be a different argument, but if if it's a ch- in other words, your well, place- it's not a different argument for the baby, right? That's the same argument for the baby. What if you have a baby well, and you I'd, don't have a baby? Well, then I'd keep winning another green jacket. I I, I would not walk off the golf course. Uh, TLD may walk away from me, but I would say, baby, I love you. Let me tell you but- something. When you're like 92 and you're taking your last breath and your mm-hmm. daughter's sitting there right next to you, Hyla would never blame me. 
right? It's not going to matter. You got to care about a green jacket? Yeah. Mm, maybe yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, listen, we all have babies, and we all love them, and, 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 and they're near and dear Man, to our heart. Selfishness here in this room. Yeah, sure. but, but wow. look, I, I don't deny it. I'm just simply saying that, like, you got to do what you got to do. If, if I flip the role and – I'm on my deathbed or whatever, and they're going to leave to come see me. No, do your thing. Be there. Win it. Mm. Take it. Or you just come back the next year and win it. Nah, nah. All right, 641-1010. You guys can keep it rolling in that. Uh, RJ, did you put the X poll out? Tell us how it reads. Absolutely. So our X poll brought to you by Beaver Chevrolet and Beaver Toyota. If you're in the lead on Sunday at Augusta, on the back nine and you get word that your wife is going into labor, what do you do? That is up right now on X at 1010XL. Right now, guys, Mm -hmm. 66% say that they would stay and finish the Masters. Yeah, there you go. All right, keep voting Uh, off the text line. You'd be insane to walk off that course on Sunday, even if you aren't in the lead. If your wife doesn't understand, then you should should be married to someone else. Oh, it's beautiful because they do embrace – like Leon, think about it, mm-hmm. and and I understand you've had you know beautiful children, uh, but if you're in the Super Bowl, like you described the fourth quarter, you walking <clears throat> off? No, absolutely not. Fourth <laughs> quarter, and we're in the lead. Am I walking off and say, hey, listen, fellas, because I guess you yeah. are the one person that can say I've been in that environment. You absolutely. know how tough it is to win. Absolutely, it's it's tough to win, and it's tough to get back to. Yeah. I mean, my kids just have to. I love them. They just got to get over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, again, the story. I was saying, but listen. But, the stories hey, to tell. Listen, my Super Bowl money helped pay for their college fund. Yeah, exactly. Hey, listen, they all went to college off big serves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're gonna get you're gonna get tenfold that with, with uh, the hey, listen. No, I don't think so. I all right. Uh, we got uh, a little college football that we need to talk uh with our man Pat Dooley with coming up in, in, in a few minutes. <laughs> uh because Duels is gonna be at the spring game tomorrow. Uh, the Frangie Show is going to be at Spurrier's this afternoon um, from 4 to 6, and they'll have a handful talking Gator football. It's an important one for Billy Napier. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, and we'll find out whether Billy Vanilli uh, is going to actually look the part this go-around where they're actually going to start to look like they could win some football games. So we'll get into that with him. But then we're also going to roll into some other college football games. you got the Miami I spring do. game. Yes, actually, this weekend is uh... – Miami Alumni Weekend, and they're having it on campus mm-hmm. at the Cobb Stadium down there in the Coral Gables right there on campus, whatever. Yeah. You know, it used to be at the Hard Rock. Yeah. You know, they had the issue with traveling there and getting players and all that kind of stuff like that. So they decided to have it at the Cobb Stadium right on campus as Alumni Weekend. At the dinner last night, I mean, the dinner tonight mm-hmm. of where all the guys go, well, Michael Irvin speaking. So, oh, okay. Yeah, sure you. Ear, right. Sure, the ears will be filled. Whatever. Yeah, ignite the flame. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and it's get all, the canes back. Off to season optimism, baby. That's, that's Campo's Everybody favorite guy, has. by the way, in the locker room. Huh? That's Campo's favorite guy in the locker room. Best Who's guy that? he's ever. He's ever. Uh, Michael, Michael Irvin. Irvin. Michael Irvin. Yeah, he's I don't understand that. Best player ever, yeah. ever well, seen listen, in the locker room. First, listen, first time I was on campus, at University of Miami. I was I was getting into, uh, checking into the thirty six dorms, and I remember seeing him. He was going to class, and I told my dad, "Hey, dad, isn't that Michael Irvin?" I was starstruck as a freshman. Knew knowing that it's going to be my teammate, but right. I watched him on TV. You know, I, I recognize greatness. I appreciated it. Now, we got all these other college football games that we're going to talk about. Just at least drop a little note in. Mm-hmm. Ohio State, Archie, Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, LSU, uh, Ole Miss, Miami, and Bama. So, we'll try and touch on all of them. This is Kalen DeBoer's debut uh, with the A-Day game uh, in Tuscaloosa. So, if you're a college football fan, you can hit the text line. Let us know what you're looking for with any of the teams that you might have your spring game. Because it's, it's worth pointing out that April 15th comes in a hurry and the transfer portal opens back up. There are still teams like FSU and others that will have not had their spring game before that transfer portal opens back up. So that's worth getting into as well. It is XL Primetime. You're riding in the First Coast Honda Dealer Studios. XL Primetime on 1010XL. Your home for Florida Gators baseball is 1010XL. The Gators look for a weekend full of wins against South Carolina. Friday night, Saturday and Sunday afternoon on 1010AM. 
Discover luxury on your terms at Randy Marion Cadillac in Jacksonville and drive away today in style. Boasting North Florida's largest selection of Cadillacs, we have your dream car waiting. Immerse yourself in the unparalleled power and the elegance of the all-new Cadillac Escalade V. Or experience the future with the Cadillac Lyric redefining luxury electric vehicles. Thanks to our exclusive offers, the luxury of the Cadillac is more obtainable than ever. And rest assured, every Cadillac is backed by our dedication to outstanding customer service. Randy Marion Cadillac, Southside Boulevard, Jacksonville. Tell them Jennifer sent you. Want to play golf and help raise some money for scholarships at the same time? Join the Clay County Gator Club at their 24th annual scholarship golf tournament presented by Walker Footings, Sunday, April 21st. To register, go to claygators.com. Four. Oh boy, the Masters is here, Tiger is in the field, and the Live Guys are back at the Majors again. Mia here, and if you haven't signed up for my bookie, you need to sign up this week. This is going to be must-see TV, and you can bet long odds for big golf sweats and even bigger cash. Outright winners, first-round leaders, live betting too. I'm telling you, if you haven't signed up yet for my bookie, do it for Masters Week. Could the weather in Augusta cause some chaos? Take advantage of that. Make some money. Even if the Masters has started, you can still live bet with long odds through Sunday afternoon. Getting started is simple. Sign up today at MyBookie and use promo code 1010XL to secure a first deposit bonus up to 50%. It's simple. Just use promo code 1010XL to claim your 50% bonus, $50 minimum. This is one of the most fun betting weeks of the year, and you can hit winners for long odds. Promo code 1010XL. Bet with MyBookie. If you've played sports or still lead an active life, chances are joint pain is nothing new. This is Dr. George Barry of Barry Orthopedics, and we like to be your option when it comes to taking care of your body and getting back in the game. From shoulders to elbows to hip and knee pain, Barry Orthopedics can diagnose and treat a variety of injuries that are causing you pain. We are Barry Orthopedics and online at barryorthopedics.com. With more than 30 years of experience, our team is here to care for your entire family. Find out more at barryorthopedics.com. That's B-A-H-R-I orthopedics.com. I'm here with Danny Van Sickle, director of the Electrical Training Alliance. Danny, tell me about your program. Hey, Rick. We're a five-year electrical apprenticeship. Our students start out making over $40,000 a year and right now graduate making over $90,000 a year, including benefits. There is no tuition or no student debt. You just have to apply and get accepted. Did you say no tuition and no student debt? You heard that right, Rick. Once you're accepted to the program, your only cost are the books and the course fees. About $800 a year. That sounds like an amazing opportunity. How can I learn more? Just go to ETAJAX.org and you can apply there. Apply by May 23rd. This date in sports history is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. On April 12, 1953, Ben Hogan shatters the U.S. Masters Tournament record by scoring a 274 while also securing his second Masters win. Divorce, menonly.com. This is Kenny Lay of Kenny Lay & Associates. Our firm specializes in representing men in family law. That's all we do. That's our only focus. We can help with all of your family law needs, such as divorce, custody, alimony, and child support. For over a decade, we have helped thousands of men with these types of issues. We even have an appellate division ready to challenge a judge's ruling. If you need a family law attorney, go to DivorceMenOnly.com. DivorceMenOnly.com. Offices, Jacksonville. At Duck, Duck Rooter, we understand plumbing issues can be a real inconvenience for your building or business, and we're here to help. We can handle all kinds of plumbing jobs, including broken pipes, clogged drains, line jetting, installing water heaters, and full repipes. Need a camera inspection or a smoke test? Yes, Duck Duck Rooter does that too. Plus, our lift station services include inspections, monitoring, cleaning, and repairs. When you're stuck, call the Duck. 904-862-6769. That's 904-862-6769. I'm with Greg from Cycles of Jacksonville, and when the sun's out, it's time to ride at Triumph. Tell me this, Greg. They've got new pricing that's going to bring more people to the showroom to check them out. They do. They've got two hot new models, both under 6000 one under 5000 Same great, legendary Triumph quality and ride. you got to come see it. It's a big, heavy motorcycle underneath you. It is. It's all Triumph. Log on, cyclesofjacksonville.com, or check them out in the showroom. They're on Atlantic near Regency. Let's fire up the flavor and ignite those appetites. Let's slow down and smell the barbecue. Because all your favorites are smoked for hours and ready for eating when you are. From our famous ribs to slow smoked pork. Enjoy some perfection by the plateful, safely in our dining room or in the comfort of your home. With curbside pickup, drive through and delivery. Sonny's Barbecue, local pitmasters since 68. 
If you're looking for custom metalwork, look no further than Superior Fence and Rail. Whether it's custom railing, shade structures, or custom entry gates, their expert team controls the turnkey process. From CAD design and raw metal to powder-coated finish and expert installation, when you choose Superior Fence and Rail for your custom metal project, you get a project that's, well, superior. So get off the fence and call Superior Fence and Rail .com. today. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Let's ring up another guest on the all-pro roofing phone line. It's a big hair, heavy metal Friday on XL Primetime. We got our man, Pat Dooley, to talk a little orange and blue, and I'm sure he's going to sneak in a comment about Augusta as well. And I'll tie the two together real quick because, uh, Pat Dooley, welcome in. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. I, every time I watch the Masters, I think about when I play. <laughs> <laughs> well, All about duels, it, it, It's funny because we're, we're having this argument and, and not an argument, just having a fun discussion about the idea that Scotty Scheffler and his wife, that she is pregnant, and if she goes into labor, would he walk off the golf course on Sunday? So we turned it into an ex poll question. And I told the story about being late to pick up my brand new baby and TLD, my wife, uh, from the Gator game. And she said she did text in and say, you could stay for a green jacket, just not for a Gator game. So there is a big <laughs> difference as far as, as, far as she is that concerned. Now, is that in the Napier era or the Spurrier <laughs> era? Go, because that would go. be different, yeah. Yeah, it'll change your opinion of uh, the president. It's day. ironic because I'm out here right now playing golf with my lovely daughter. Oh, so, well, there you uh, go. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. All right, so we will sneak in an Augusta thought from you as far as things, how things are going right now. But how are things going with, with Billy? And this is a critical spring game for him, the third one that he's coached in. And what do you think we will, what do you think Gator fans will be treated to tomorrow? Well, I think that the ideal thing is they get treated to no injuries because that, that is the, the one thing that keeps these uh, coaches from playing against other teams instead of playing against each other. But uh, look, I think it's got to be clean. Uh, that's one thing that all the, penalties that they've had last year um you know billy talked to the quarterback club here in gainesville uh tuesday night he talked a lot about special teams and what his plan was for it and how they were going to solve that problem and he he had a lot of good answers to a lot of questions uh but it, it, but he's the guy who said this and i don't I, i'm not making you know i'm not saying it he, we all know it it's got to transfer to the field all the good things they're doing with academics with helping the community and everything aren't going to matter if he doesn't win more games. So they've got to at least uh, give people a level of excitement, you know, uh, to be fired up. And I think it'll be a big crowd because people want to go see Lagway. All right, Dules. Um, yesterday we had Louis Oliver on, and I want to apologize again to the listeners for his language. He dropped a couple F-bombs. Um, but, but no, Louis Oliver? But listen, no. Listen, the point is this. This is the point I want to make, and, and this is – Kind of the reality of the situation. He's mad. He's fed up. He's annoyed. And he's at the end of his rope. And I kind of think, and our text line was going crazy when he's on there saying, this guy's saying exactly what we want to hear. Is the fan base at that point right now, do you think? No, I don't think it is. I think there is, like, it is with a lot of fan bases, including Kentucky. I think there are people that are really upset with this and they're up and, and look nobody's happy right now but i think there are a lot of people that still believe in what billy's trying to do and they know this is going to be his best team and um they but they've got to see it they've got to see it happen on the field just like i said and unless they can make it happen on the field then you go okay this, this, this didn't work and i think that's that's where they are i don't i don't think um that Lewis Oliver or anybody else is going to characterize the entire fan base. I think it's a kind of a split right now, to be honest. Now, Dooley, this this your first impression on, on what you've seen this spring. What 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 grouping are you most impressed with, and which grouping do you think needs a little bit more time? Well, the the, the group that needs more time is the receivers because that's where they're hurting a little bit. They have not had uh, some guys step up the way, they, and they're going to go on the portal. Um, to get some guy, uh, somebody, at least one player, when we get uh, to into this next portal period. Uh, obviously, Trey Wilson's a unique talent. He's different. 
but they've got to have some other guys step up. As far as the guys that are doing a good job, I do think that their secondary is going to be better. I think they've uh, the changing coaches seems to have been a boost for them, and uh, you know they're tackling better in practice than they than they and, and you know everybody knows they didn't tackle anybody last year. My biggest thing watching this game is going to be to see how players react to the ball in the air because that has been the biggest problem over the last four years, really. I mean, we can go back to two years of Dan Mullen where they just played terrible defense and could not um, get get to the ball. You know, just the ball's in the air and nobody ever seems to knock it down or, or pick one up. Florida had three interceptions last year. Three. That's three more than me. Okay? Oh, yeah. It's not good. They've got to do a better job of that. Now, Dooley, I don't know how y'all got a Cersei there, but how's he been looking? <laughs> oh, yeah, tremendous. Yeah, tremendous. Well, you know that because you you know where it comes from. <laughs> well, it's funny because he tried to take credit, and then he said, uh, Cersei, that's a gator. I don't, I don't want to take credit for that. Uh, we're talking with Pat Dooley. You can find him mm-hmm. on, on many things that still are in your gator fandom, and it could be uh, Gators Wire. It could be WRUF. It could be Dooley Noted uh, with his podcast. So, when, when we think of the development of the quarterback and taking that step from a Graham Mertz to a, to a DJ Lagway, what, do you, what have you heard, what do you think in terms of Lagway assuming that role at some point in the season? Well, I think it's going to be a different offense that they're going to put in for him. You know, you got to remember, Graham Mertz is a really smart quarterback, and he knows everything they're trying to do, and he understands it. They've got, I mean, they can script it a lot differently for him than they can for Lagway right now. Lagway, from everything I've heard, is making wow plays and then wow, we don't want that to happen again <laughs> plays. So, <laughs> which you, you would expect for a freshman, you know? I mean, uh, again, this is a kid who's 17 years old um, and, and a lot of expectations on him. I, I think it's going to be very similar to what we saw with Lee Tebow. Now, it's not going to be Tebow because there's only one Tim Tebow, as you know, and Chris Leak was a senior quarterback who had played a lot. So I think that um, you're going to see something similar to that, though, in terms of playing time. And they've got to get Lagway ready in case something happens with Graham Mertz. They know that. I mean, the schedule they're playing is very difficult, and uh, guys are going to come after the quarterback, as you know. So um, they're going to have to be better. And the offensive line is going to have to protect whoever's back there. Um they seem to think it's, they've got a better offensive line than they did before, and that they've they've strengthened it through the portal. But I, yeah, I get again, I got to see it in person before I believe it. Duels, I, I would be completely shocked if Mertz isn't his ride or die right now, and, and I mean for the majority of most games, unless you going all season. Like, yeah, I mean the whole season. I mean unless they start like one and four, then it's done. Then you then you play Lagwood. But I, I mean, I, I I would be shocked if Mertz isn't playing. You know, ninety-five percent of every game. Uh, it's just I, I think the, the I, idea I don't is, disagree they, with you. I don't they disagree. Put but around him, like what? What is what's Chimray DK looked like? Yeah, that's the thing. They've got to have guys that are going to be able to do the things that he they, he needs to do. But uh, the basic thing is, if they can protect him, he is really good <laughs> at making decisions again the ball out. Mm-hmm. So they've got to be able to protect him. That was part right. of the problem last year. And even then, they were averaging thirty points a game. I mean, it wasn't like they they were terrible on offense. But I, I think Lagway will play. Uh, but I, I'm with you. I think I think ninety ten probably, uh, assuming that everybody's healthy. I think is the way it'll go. But uh, you're going to want to now in this game. Obviously, it's going to be fifty fifty. But uh, but in, in the uh, when once the season starts, yeah, I would think there there'll be plays for Lagway. But there's only so much they can give him right now because he's still very young. Now, dudes, I, I don't know what the impression is with the Florida Gator uh, fan base, but I know at the my University of Miami that it, this is a make-or-break season for Mario, quite f- frankly. I mean, he's got to win a certain amount of games and get in the playoffs, so the fan base is going to be in an uproar. I mean, how much is, is the Florida game important, I mean, the Miami game important to you, and how, how important of a season is this for Billy Napier moving forward? Well, it's it's huge for him, and he, he can't go 5-7, to seven, or he's going to be – you know, walking out the door. I mean, we know that. But um, it's huge for Miami, too. You know that. I mean, either way, the winner of that game is going to feel a lot better about where their season's going. The loser's going to feel like, okay, let's start the clock. So, um, that's, and again, would you rather play Miami at home 
are Utah on the road to start the season? I think we all know the answer there. You'd rather play Miami at home. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, no, it's 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 a huge game for both teams and uh, and for their future and, and their immediate futures and their long-range futures. All right, so as we say goodbye to you, one word that you think might be uttered as Gator fans are exiting the swamp <laughs> tomorrow, just one word that you think. This is a family show. I can't go Lewis <laughs> Oliver on Cannot go Lewis no, Oliver. Thank no, goodness yeah. you cannot no. do that. Our general manager um, listening, please. But along those lines, is that I, what you're saying? Yeah. So no, I think no, I think what it'll be is I think a lot of fans are gonna walk out of the game going, Okay. Okay. All right, All right. that's that's what I was hoping to see and, and now we'll see if they can translate that to the to the field when games matter. I think I think that's what now, if they go out and see eight pers or uh, false start penalties they're going to go we got problems the same problems we had before yeah so i think but i think i think he's addressed a lot of this stuff i I, talking to him the other day he addressed the special teams problems and addressed a lot of the other issues they had i i think they're going to be a pretty good team now how that translates into wins and losses we have to wait see don't forget they were really close to being eight four team last year yeah, that's uh, that's how I came up with the name, the Jacksonville Ifs. Uh, if this had happened, if that had happened, uh, and so Florida might get that moniker as well. All right, we will see. Listen, I'm gonna uh, uh, always optimistic in the off season. That's all we can be. Uh, enjoy the round. Enjoy uh, being with your daughter. And uh, as always, we appreciate it. Uh, WRUF. You can find him duly noted with his podcast, and you can find him uh, Gators Wire. Right. Well, yeah, and you know that this is my daughter because she's wearing a Masters hat right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. Of course, that's pretty awesome. All right, buddy, thank you, man. All right, we'll see you guys anytime. All right, All right. All right. Uh, at Pat underscore Duel. By the way, I think Duel shot eighty-two when he played there. He he made the he made the uh, media the, the lottery lottery. Yeah. I think he shot, he shot 82. eighty-two. Ooh, that's awesome. He's and that was a long time ago. That was probably yeah. like I think I was still covering the beat. Yeah, he was like a young man, and he, you know, back then he was a. Literally like a four or five handicap. He's yeah. that good. He's a good player. The worst worst ever was Mike Bianchi is in the lottery. After, it's the Monday after the Masters. They draw names. And you the worst player play, ever. And he didn't play. He said he was too nervous. Like, you've got to be kidding me. He's the worst player ever. He is pretty bad. But I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Name drawn, said pass. Like, oh. He's strong under the lights is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you could even go there and just kick it around with a putter and you still say you're out there on a Exactly. Gusta. Exactly. I wonder if he changes his mind now when he looks back based on our discussion that we are having about would you walk off the course, would you not? The last thing you want in life is regrets. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep this question going into the second hour, uh, and then we're going to do the other college football talk. But you Gator fans, just make a note, RJ, because we will ask Gator fans the same thing we asked Pat Dooley next Monday. One word – Whatever, however we describe to do it, or however we decide to do it, but describe what your feeling was coming out of the orange and blue game if you went. So be thinking about that, Gator fans, because we want to know what you do think. Uh, into the 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock hour, Bush Driver Rich says, referring to Matt Hayes, Hayes knows good and damn well that nothing would be better than being 98 on your deathbed with the kid that you didn't leave the Masters for sitting next to you wearing that green jacket that you want, that you won. There is nothing better. All right, so keep that theme going into the 3 o'clock hour. Coach Campo will be joining us. We'll be talking ball right here on XL Primetime. The First Coast Honda Dealer Studios on 1010XL. Now, a Masters update on 1010XL, brought to you by Vaughn Motor Group. From the Augusta National Golf Club, Westwood One Sports presents this special report on the Masters. I'm Ted Emmerich. It's only Friday, but Scotty Scheffler just might be inevitable this week. He has three feet left for his birdie attempt to match DeChambeau at seven under par. Scotty putter back through and in, and another birdie for the top-ranked player in the game. Tied for the lead at seven under. Taylor Zarzer, the call at two on Sirius XM. Scheffler now with seven birdies, no bogeys so far in this tournament. His last three events coming into the Masters, win, win, 
tie for second, and he's tied for first here early in the second round with Bryson DeChambeau. DeChambeau is even today, making the turn. Scheffler had a chance to take the lead all by himself at eight feet for birdie at three, just missed it, cleans up his par, so Scheffler heads to the fourth. You're listening to coverage of the 2024 Masters on Westwood One. Doors take us to summers away. Or winter adventures and afternoon getaways. Your dedicated Fidelity Advisor can help you open those doors by working with you on a comprehensive plan to help you reach your wealth's full potential because doors were meant to be opened. Visit fidelity.com slash wealth. Investment minimum supply. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC. Member NYSE SIPC. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. A sun-splashed afternoon at Augusta National, and the wind is howling again here in the second round. Let's check the leaderboard, sponsored by Fidelity Wealth Management. It's Bryson DeChambeau and Scotty Scheffler at the top at seven under par. Max Homa, who has never really been a factor at a major yet, he's a factor so far. One back at six under. Homa, one under for the round through 14 holes. Nikolai Hoygaard, a bogey at 17, dropping to five under. That's two back, along with Danny Willett, who won the Masters in 2016. Willett, one under today through 10. Ryan Fox is four under, three off the lead. Fox, one under today through eight holes. Rory McIlroy, parring the first three. He is one under, six back. The career Grand Slam still out there for McIlroy, trying to kick it into gear. Tiger Woods battling in the second round. One over today after a bogey at 14. He's two over for the tournament. From Augusta, I'm Ted Emmerich, Westwood One Sports. Imagine driving a late model Corvette, BMW, Mercedes, Lexus, Honda, Chevy, Ford, and more. All at a fraction of the original sticker price. Visit Vaughn Motor Group's indoor showroom and browse a great selection of dream cars that are inspected with warranties. Before you make your next auto purchase, check out Vaughn Motor Group on San Jose Boulevard or at VaughnMotorGroup.com for a complete inventory listing. If you can dream it, you can drive it at Vaughn Motor Group. Imagine the perfect outdoor living space, a beautiful stone kitchen, waterfall, fire pit, pergola, stone walkway. Now there's one place to bring all of your design ideas to life. The Art of Natural Stone on Beach Boulevard and also by Bartram Springs. This is former NFL quarterback David Garrard. If your knees have taken a beating and you're finally ready to do something about it, then let Southeast Orthopedic take a look. Come on, do your knees a favor. Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. David Garrard here. I've had the PRP treatment from Southeast Orthopedic Specialist, and my knees are really doing well. Platelet-rich plasma treatment may be the answer for whatever is hurting you. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. The flagship station of the Jacksonville Jaguars. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Packer here with another unbelievable stat. I'm now down 45 pounds in just six weeks with a Waken 180 weight loss. 45 pounds, and I basically just started the program. I wasn't always this walking advertisement for feeling good. Let's just say the struggle was real. Tried everything. Programs, diets, and yes, even those injections. Sure, I lost a few pounds, but the results were so slow. Top that with not feeling myself, coupled with needing shots for the rest of my life? No, thank you. It's not just the 45-pound number. Even though, yeah, that's unbelievable. It's about life, man. I took Little Hack to SeaWorld last week. Walked around all day, no sweat, no being tired. Two months ago, I would have skipped out on that whole experience. If it's time for you to drop some weight like it was for me, do what I did. Go to Awaken180WeightLoss.com or call 844-346-1800. That's 844-346-1800. It's Awaken 180 Weight Loss. Are you 18 years or older, just got married, just got divorced, or have children? Listen up. Have you done your last will and estate planning? If you have questions, call Matt Hinson with the Hinson Law Firm. Reach him at 527-1700, offices Jacksonville, Florida. And don't let the state decide your fate. 
It's tune-up time, and Florida Home AC, the official AC partner of the Jaguars, wants to partner with you for a cool summer season. Tune up your AC unit right now so it's running at peak performance when you need it most. Just call 777-4300 and order a tune-up for just 59 bucks. Keep your unit humming at optimal level. Log on to FloridaHomeAC.com and take advantage of their savings. Keep cool with Florida Home AC. That's 777-4300. E.T. here, and it's time for the Taste of Golf at TPC Sawgrass, April 24th. Join me for fine cuisine from chefs from the top golf clubs in our area, craft cocktails, games, and unique auction items. This is one of the most charitable events in our area. Come network with a sophisticated audience who is passionate about golf and its values, all while impacting the youth in our community. All proceeds benefit First Team North Florida. For tickets, go to tasteofgolf.com. Come on, somebody. Jumbo Shrimp Baseball, presented by FIS, is home this weekend at 1 to 1 Financial Ballpark. Tonight is Red Shirt Friday with post game fireworks, presented by Big D Building Center. Tomorrow, the first 2,000 fans get free Jumbo Shrimp pajama pants, plus more fireworks, presented by ViStar and First Watch. Then is Baptist Health Sunday Family Fun Day. Log on to jackshrimp.com for tickets. Jumbo Shrimp Baseball, affordable, family, fun. This is your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update. I'm Andrew Gibson for Tenton XL. Frank Frangi explains the importance of the Florida Spring football game tomorrow afternoon in Gainesville. Boy, is it a big day for Billy Napier. Gator fans are doubting him. Others are doubting him. And the spring game doesn't matter, but it does. Because it looked so bad a year ago, people lost confidence before the season ever got here. Graham Mertz needs to look good. DJ Lagway needs to look good. They need to tackle. The team needs to look better. This is an important, important spring game for the Florida Gators. Admission to the Florida spring game is free. Gates open at the Swamp at 1130. Kickoff for the Florida spring game is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. It's 78 degrees at 3 o'clock. Time and Temp, brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. Tone 10 XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. XL Primetime's coach Dave Campo is brought to you by Bold City Heating and Air. Online at boldcityac.com. It's a big hair, heavy metal Friday on XL Primetime. Our big hair, heavy metal head coach is in the building. Dave Campo, fired up and ready to go, aren't you, coach? Absolutely. You got love it. it. You got the masses rolling, and it's getting close to the draft. What else do you want? So you got Woods and Kepka in that pile right now at one over. I know you've been watching a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I was saying it earlier, I, I think there's more coverage in these first two rounds as far as ESPN personalities that I think I've ever seen at Augusta. They got some serious boots on the ground, uh, and they've been putting on a great show. It, it's been it's been awesome to watch. I think that's a perfect example, though, of why a, a, a legendary player like Tiger Woods is involved. I mm-hmm. think that's probably part of it. I, I'm not sure it's not all of it, but, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's part of it. But like you said, 29 years he's been yeah. part of, of, of our our history at Augusta, what yeah, we've been treated absolutely. to. He's delivered so many moments. All right, we've got our head coach in with us, Dave Campo, Joe C., Matt Hayes, Big Sirs, Leon Searcy, and R.J. Saunders. And we just uh, chowed on one smoked thigh from Matt Hayes, uh, uh, and we shared it. That's how much That's how much we like one another. Yeah, man, we share because we care. Yeah, and, and we even left some for R.J. too. We did a bone. We left yeah, him a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> It was just slow, outstanding. Slow smoke. Yeah, we just looked. We looked at Matt like, "Where's the rest of these exactly, chicken thighs?" Exactly, uh, bro. They were so good. It was. It was so good. All right, so uh, let's get into a couple of things, Coach. And uh, Leon's got a you know in the in, in honor of the chicken thigh, he wants to unveil his three piece combo. By the time you get to Friday night, your Jacksonville draft board will look like X. And you don't you can name the player, you don't have to name the player, but give us the three piece combo well, and a Jaguar fan hopefully will be happy. Well well I'm thinking if if you if you get a DB, mm-hmm. if you get a O lineman mm-hmm. and you get a a D lineman. That's my three piece. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. If, if, if I if we get three in the first three picks, if we get any combination of wherever it may be, if we get any combination of those three uh, position groups, right. I wouldn't be mad. And and I think I'm okay with the fact that he kind of gave us a little gray area D line, meaning it could be Russian, it could mm-hmm. be interior lineman. Yeah, I think the only thing you got there is you know I would go. I personally would. He missed go, on the wide receivers. Is that what you're saying? Well, I would go DB, the corner, uh-huh. wide receiver, and O lineman because mm-hmm. I, I I'm a little concerned if they don't take a D lineman okay. in the first round, it so goes it downhill. Falls, so, from I there. so that's a three piece and a biscuit. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, O lineman is the biscuit. All right, I got to appreciate that, coach. I can like that. I like that because it's true. It's a thin, and you've looked at this, Matt. It is a thin defensive tackle class if you don't get one of those bigs early. Uh, you want my three piece? Yeah, yeah. I want big, nasty, and then you can do any whatever side you. I don't care if you want ugly. corner, corner, or, or wide receiver, whatever with third yeah. one. I don't big, care. nasty, and but ugly. I want big yeah. and nasty. The first two picks. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, it's and funny. I prefer offense, yeah. offensive side of the ball, offensive lineman. But if if one of them's got to be a defensive line interior guy, I'm good with that too. Yeah, and I, I think the three piece combo, and then we're just having fun with it because you it makes you hungry first off, and then number two is like you're just like, am I going to be happy Friday night with my meal and what your Jacksonville Jaguars have gotten by the time they get to that third pick overall, which is three of the top 100 picks, and it's funny because that defensive tackle class does drop off, and heck, at the end of our draft, coach, we were doing our mocks yesterday, right, and once you go past the first handful of guys that are there it took I want to say it took both Matt and I until the sixth or seventh round to get an interior defensive lineman and there were multiple interior offensive linemen that we were yeah going. that's why I feel like in the in the early the first two rounds if you can find one mm-hmm. you, you go ahead and take one because uh you know I think once it passes that you're in trouble mm-hmm. so yeah. well, so more defensive interior than offense interior no I th- like, again, what did you choose first Protect the quarterback. Okay. Mm-hmm. First. My man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's first. Uh, and then I, I think we got enough firepower on defense to play the season. Right. You know, hopefully. Up front. God willing, mm-hmm. the creek don't rise. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm counting on uh, Hamilton. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know some aren't, but I'm kind of counting on him to go back, you know, I would uh, love it. to go back to where he was when they offered yeah, him the I contract. It would be a good I story. That, I don't know that everybody's not counting him. I think it's more of – Okay, if we get something from him, that's a bonus. Well, yeah. If you don't get yeah. something from him, it's kind of what you had last year. Yeah, that's Which true. Is probably why you got to get, got to drive the defensive tackle. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, 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 as a, as a four man front, do you do you trust him? It's third, it's third and long, coach, in the four man front. Would you? Do you think you need another defensive lineman to get that pass rush, or do you think Hamilton's good enough at the one? To where he can get pressure. You know, if he's what he was when he first, when they offered him the contract, you mm-hmm. know, he had some push on a quarterback. Now. Okay, I think Can't that's what's important. Really good. Yeah. yeah, so to me, uh, I would be more inclined to find a third pass rusher. Mm-hmm. You know, if if there's one around, whether that this uh, Josh Allen signing right. gives you an opportunity to maybe go get somebody that might be out there that helps you a little bit, mm-hmm. uh, then I would. You know, to take somebody that I don't feel real comfortable with in the D, D tackle. All right, you know, so it, it's really your first opportunity to jump in on the Josh Allen discussion. But it's funny, I we asked this question: Has it changed your draft board? It really shouldn't, because no. you still don't have depth. Right. Yeah, I I think it it's uh, again. I was here's the thing: I was counting on Josh Allen from the beginning because you know you've got him for yeah, one year. You had him. So you I'm had not worried. I wasn't worried too much about. Very true. You know that situation. So when you're looking at the draft, you're looking at guys that can, you know, hopefully this year help you, you know, get get there. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, gotta be more than hopefully. Yeah. Well, I mean. Right? Yeah. We yeah. live in a hope world I mean, right now. Yeah. Hope yeah. is not a plan, that. okay? Yeah. I say that all the time. Yeah, you're right. My dad told me that for as long as I, you know. Hope is not a plan. plan. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good yeah, you got to you got to make it uh, your plan, whatever it is. Yeah, it's funny because, like, Ryan Nielsen's looking at that roster. He's looking at that depth chart and exodus of a couple of starters in Darius Williams and Rayshon Jenkins and moving things around, obviously, with the different alignment. He's got more than hope. He's got tape. He's got personnel. He's right. got game plans that he can initiate. On the outside looking in, you're just hoping 
Devon stays healthy and that Foyer become or Devin Lloyd becomes that guy off the edge and that linebacking core that, that that you expected when you drafted him in the first round. Yeah, and I think that you got uh, you know this Gibson guy that they got. You know he's had some sacks mm-hmm. in the past. I think we could play with the guys we have right now on defense. To be honest with you, but I'm concerned about protecting the quarterback and the corner position mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to a right. certain extent. Right. How could and you if you can get a receiver. Uh, I, I heard uh, the, coming in uh, mm-hmm. talking about uh, on helmets and heels, mm-hmm. talking about the uh, you to to trade for Higgins. Right. Okay. You have to you have to trade for him. Right. And then pay him. Oh, whereas, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whereas if you take Thomas, for example, a lot of people think that he's the that type of a guy, but you're betting on it. Yeah, you're betting on it, but you got a guy for at least five hey, years. Just, low you, money. Say, you say bet, I say hope. Yeah, yeah. With T. Higgins, you have a you know proven guy have. in the okay, league, but, and he's ascending. Yeah, it's like, and, and this is this was part of our podcast going back in the day, uh, not back in the day, but a few weeks back. Uh, is either you are building or buying. Those are the right. two things that you are doing. Are you building a football team or are you buying a football team? You give up a first round pick and you instantly have to pay that guy twenty million dollars. But it also a year. depends where you instantly. are. Yeah. Like they're, they're, or they, Higgins. They're technically not building. They're technically a player or two away from competing to get to mm-hmm. a long run in the playoffs. So yeah. I don't I don't I guess the way I look at it is I don't think they're building right now. I think they're they need a couple players is what they need. Okay, so but, that's why I would say if you're gonna do that and you can get away with just losing a second for T. Higgins, I absolutely right. If you, if if you 100%. are if the market is such where you don't have to give up that seventeenth pick, and you now could that's potentially, that's different, right? Yeah. right. But, but let's just make this clear: Stephon Diggs is an aging wide receiver True. that looked like a little bit of a malcontent, and True. they were content to take a thirty-one million dollar cap hit to say goodbye to Stephon Diggs. Mm-hmm. T. Higgins is not the same guy. Right? He's twenty-five years old. Mm-hmm. He's been a a. a a reliable, consistent playmaker. Right, but while good, he's good. Yeah, and I would do the deal. Yeah, he's not worth a one. Yeah, uh, he's not a one. You're going to have to give it up to get him, though. Yeah, they yeah, won't take right. anything. Well, then they're not. Then they got to deal with it. Then and the they other half of this, they let him go. Let's not. Let's just not forget After this. this year, I mean. yeah. Is that if you had drafted well and they haven't, as a rule, then you wouldn't have as many starters that you need right now right. plugged in because yeah, fifty percent. Fifty percent of their starters, at a minimum, are free agents. Right, 50%. which is bad. Yeah. That's not what you want, yeah. really. Mm-hmm. And, and if it, anything, what what Josh Allen signing did, honestly, if anything, it took away the possibility of them. Let's say Jared Verse falls seventeen, or let's say Dallas Turner falls seventeen for some reason. Mm-hmm. Then at that point, if you still haven't signed Josh Allen, then you might take one of those right. edge guys. And then you just say, all right, let's play him. Yeah. Let Josh play on that tag. And if, if Jared Verse or Dallas Turner plays up and turns it up, then you can just say, all right, see you later, Josh. Because what you did is you put your thumb on him. If, yes, if that of course. Happens. Right. That's, yes. Why, that's why it's, it's really good news. But that's all news. over now, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Really yeah. good news for a lot of people uh, on both sides of, of this equation, bargaining table, however you want to describe right. it. Right. It's good news for both because Balky gets to operate free, unhinged, not worried about whether or not he's going to be able to get a deal done. And Allen doesn't have to worry about them trying to squeeze him a little bit by going and getting a guy at his position. Right. And so that definitely helps. That's for sure. Uh, all right. So the combo, you guys can hit us, 6-4-1-10-10, uh, three-piece combo. What would you be happy with positionally uh, once you got to the end of Friday night uh, if you're a Jaguar fan? You can definitely do that. Uh, RJ, let's give him the X poll again just so we can get a little more out of this uh, in this second hour before we're done. Coach Campo has not asked, uh, not been asked this question just yet, so RJ, throw it out there. Yes, our XL Prime Time X poll question of the day brought to you by Beaver Chevrolet and Beaver Toyota. If you're in the lead on Sunday at Augusta, we're talking on the back nine here, and you give word that your wife is going into labor, what do you do? Right now, that is on X. We have had uh, plenty on the text line that have chimed in. <laughs> One of them even suggested uh, that uh, tell her to stop being so selfish. Get a midwife in the clubhouse and let me know uh, when, when you see the baby's head pop out. Uh, another one says nine holes uh, doesn't take as long as uh, labor. Uh, easy decision, uh, which leads us to you, Coach Campo. Uh, how many children? 
Quite a few. Six. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or uh, I will. I, should I ask you if it was the first, or should I ask you if it was the sixth? Well, <laughs> where is Tommy in the it, hierarchy? It does change a little bit during that period of time. Uh, I, but I, I, listen, I've got a couple things. Number one, number one, I can't believe you guys have lowered the show enough to even ask that question because you're putting a lot of people on notice here. You wouldn't look, go with what look, they there said. There are no sacrificial lambs here. We're, you know, you're dealing with it if you're listening to us, okay? <laughs> well, okay. Then the answer to that question is uh, that green jacket looks awful good to me. <laughs> oh, it's like one of them. You know what's the so funny? Life. Like if Kay was in here yeah. oh, and Kay yeah. was there's sitting no there way. watching in the yeah. stadium, yeah. Yeah, there's no way. he'd go, my child. Are you kidding me? Of course it's my child. They would look at uh, TLD. We'd all be done. But off the text line, I do so much for the fam, they'd understand. Yeah, exactly. You you guys could let us know. (laughs) 641-1010. It is XL Primetime. Big hair, heavy metal. You can bring in some rock and roll suggestions. Uh, Our new (laughs) DJ is RJ. So you can hit it and let us know some good rock and roll before we are done in the 4 o'clock hour. Buckle up. You're in the First Coast Honda Dealer Studios with XL Primetime on 1010XL. Find your new Honda at your eight local Honda dealers. Now, a master's update on 1010XL, brought to you by Vaughn Motor Group. From the Augusta National Golf Club, Westwood One Sports presents this special report on the Masters. I'm Ted Emmerich. Tiger Woods is grinding on day two. He played five holes this morning to wrap up his first round. Then less than an hour between that and teeing off in the second round. Not ideal for a 48-year-old with a surgically repaired back, knee, and ankle even if he is a 15-time major champion. Woods dealing with a difficult hole location at the par 3 16th. He landed his tee shot hole high, looking for back-to-back birdies. This putt going to move a whole lot to the right here for Tiger. One last look at the hole. And it's just outside 20 feet. Here we go, down the hill, breaking to the right. He's already lost it to the right-hand side. Discover luxury on your terms at Randy Marion Cadillac in Jacksonville and drive away today in style. Boasting North Florida's largest selection of Cadillacs, we have your dream car waiting. Immerse yourself in the unparalleled power and the elegance of the all-new Cadillac Escalade V. Or experience the future with the Cadillac Lyric, redefining luxury electric vehicles. Thanks to our exclusive offers, the luxury of the Cadillac is more obtainable than ever. And rest assured, every Cadillac is backed by our dedication to outstanding customer service. Randy Marion Cadillac, Southside Boulevard, Jacksonville. Tell them Jennifer sent you. Frank Frangie here for South State Bank. Look, I depend on South State for so many things, personal accounts, small business banking, and banking for our nonprofit. South State Bank can help you reach all your financial goals too, whether you're just starting out or focused on financial planning. South State offers convenience with their online and mobile banking. You should check out South State Bank as they were recently recognized by Forbes as one of America's best banks. That's South State Banking Forward. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. It's back, the biggest jewelry sale of the year. Buy one, get one at Beard's Diamonds. No other jewelry store in North Florida can match it. Buy any band and get the other one free. The whole month of April. Beard's Diamonds will beat any competitor's price. At the St. John's Town Center. Get this thing unwrapped here. Duval! Proz, Proz, what in the world are you doing working on your Duval? That's right, man. I really identify with Duval. You live in St. John's County, knucklehead. I mean the Duval sub, the Daily's Dash Duval. Turkey, ham, melted cheddar, and habanero jack cheeses. Lettuce, tomato, crispy and fresh, you know, like me. I'm sure there's a Daily's Dash sub that sums you up. The boss. Because, of course. Oven roasted beef, monster cheese, roasted mushrooms, caramelized onions. It's the boss of all subs. Only available for me. That's just not true. What do you mean? I walked in the other day, screamed, you know it, and said, a boss for a boss. Well, no matter who you are, there is a Daily's Dash sandwich or sub for you. Go find yours. They may even make you a boss. I'm sure they will, because it is Daily's Dash. Where more is better. And you got that right. Are you looking for quality tires that won't break the bank? Well, Big Chief Tire has you covered. Frank Frangie here. Get $50 off a new set of tires and for even greater savings, finance with a CFNA card to receive an additional $50 off your first purchase 
and no interest for six months. Schedule an appointment today at BigChiefTire.com or call 904-932-0950 and take advantage of these incredible deals. Big Chief Tire keeps jacks rolling. Does the building you go to work in every day need a little love and attention? Jason Parker here with Performance Painting. Great companies take great care of the buildings their staff and customers walk into every day. If the building you're in doesn't match the vision you have for your company, we can help. Go to performance-painting.com. Our highly trained team makes the difference. Quality coatings applied with pride. Performance Painting. Get closer to nature. I'm Jeff Logner with Captain Kevin and Captain Kirk. We take you from the water to the woods. The Nimnik Outdoor Show. Presented by Duck Duck Rooter Plumbing and Septic Services. 7 to 10 every Saturday morning on 1010XL. If you're an experienced, skilled plumber or welder that's MedGas certified and you're tired of working for a company that just doesn't treat you right, Local 234 is the place for you. Their pay is the best in the business. You'll walk away with $35.09 an hour in your pocket with benefits that's just over $50 an hour. Local 234 has been around since 1901, and that means something. Visit UA234.com to send your resume. Local 234, make the right connection. Best Bet is number one. That's right, Best Bet Jacksonville, Orange Park, and St. Augustine have one card poker, the fastest and easiest card game to learn and play. Play one card at a time, and the highest card wins even money. If the card values are the same, it's time for war, just like the game you remember. You must be 18 years or older to play. More at bestbetjacks.com. That's bestbetjacks.com. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 904-274-5522. That's 904-274-5522. 904-274-5522. Sports fans, JJ LaSalva here. When I need to send my bride flowers or a plant for birthdays or anniversaries, I always go with Hume Flowers. After all, they've been the leading florist in these parts for over 75 years. You can always rely on Hume Flowers. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. That just happened. Brought to you by. Florida Home AC, the official air conditioning partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, some college football news that falls under the category of once one thing happens, all the dominoes fall. So Mississippi's pending bill right now in its state legislature to amend its current NIL law has been signed by the Senate and House and has been sent to the governor today for signature. If signed, it goes into effect immediately. Among other things, the new law will allow schools being universities, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Southern right. Miss, to, Southern ena- Miss. to enable, support, create, facilitate deals for athletes. So that means so they can bring it in-house. The universities have well, brought it in-house. Yeah, they can, they can bring once, it in-house. Again, once it passes in one state, mm-hmm. they'll all do it. Well, Hugh Freeze said it the other day. We were talking about this uh, with the Auburn game, and he said it wouldn't be a bad idea. He said, I want guys to obviously be able to profit from this game, but if we could manage it somehow – and that way it's in-house. It's also it's, – so, first off, that also doesn't mean that Florida Victorious isn't completely working with Billy Napier. Of course they are. They just don't randomly go after right. players. They have been and right. will continue right. to. Right. It's, yeah. it's just now it will be completely above board and you'll be able to – and the university will be able to use specific funds yeah. for that purpose. But you should never You'll, say in college football, <laughs> completely above board. Should well, never well, say that. So you know what's what I mean. the university's cut? What's yeah. the university's cutting all this? 
it, it, there's got to be a cut somewhere. Because no, because we'll because if, if, if at first if if, if not, it had nothing to do with the universities, right? It had to do with all the collectives mm-hmm. where they were collectively well, you know, put the, and the university it, had it no, had quote unquote nothing to do with the university. Yeah. Uh, I, I see what yeah, you're saying. I'm but just yeah, saying I see that, what you're saying. Yeah, you'd know be worried saying? about yeah. oh, we need administrative fees. That we need part to break right off. there. Uh, you might yeah. be that. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt yeah, that. We need to break there. off yeah. a, a, a break few. us off a little chunk. You know. All right, RJ, fire up a little college football music. We're gonna get back to the draft in your Jacksonville Jaguars, but we got a lot of spring football. And April 15th is going to be fast and furious as far as transfer portal opening back up. But I just want to make a couple things here. You guys jump in. Ohio State looking for a brand new quarterback, but they have a brand new quarterback. Okay, because Will McCord left. They go get Howard from Kansas State. Does he win that job? Yeah, your name, Patty. Will Howard? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I would think so. I mean, he is, he's got a couple of freshmen, Julian that are battling. and, and, and I think, actually, I think his name is Eric Jordan, believe it or not. Um, two freshmen that are battling him, but I would be shocked if Will Howard is going to So the presumptive starter is going to be a, a transfer portal guy and a guy that's pretty that was pretty good State, yeah. uh, in a Kansas State uh, Wildcat uniform. All right, you've got Arkansas, Tennessee, a couple of teams that are making sure K.J. Jefferson is gone. You've got now Nico taking things up um, at, on Rocky Top. I'm just saying Nico. He's going to go with that for a while. Um how impressed will people be? I'm just going to go with that for a while. He's going to go with Nico for a while. How impressed will Rocky Top be once they see him in the uh I mean, they saw him against Iowa. They're going to be in they, love with him. They saw him against Iowa, and he played well in that game. Against a really good Iowa defense, by the he way. He did play but, well. I like the, the only problem in that game is the Iowa offense couldn't move the ball, so there was really no stress on him. Mm-hmm. He didn't really have to score, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I want to see him playing in an SEC game. He's loaded. Talent. Mm-hmm. The dude can make every throw. He's athletic. He's going to be a oh, problem. He looks like a He's going to be a problem in the run game for defenses. Uh, it's, it's going to be fun to watch because now you're going to see. I mean, Hendon Hooker ran. There's no doubt he ran for Tennessee, but he's not. Nico is a much better athlete than Hendon Hooker. Yeah. Much better. And they probably should have had him in. Like, uh, I, I should have played him last year. No yeah, they should have played him much when sooner. They, when it was clear that they were no longer in the race for the East Division, he yeah. should have played a lot more. All right, what will we learn in Miami? Big Surs, because you got their game. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, it's alumni week now. And Coach Campo and I both know how, how festive that can be. Your boy Michael Irvin is speaking at the, uh, the dinner tonight or whatever. But it, this this whole offseason has all been about Cam Ward. It's all about Cam Ward. It's an interesting thing he said about the offense. He says the air raid under center. That's what he said, the air raid yeah. under center. So Shannon and, Dawson's actually doing a few different yeah, things. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, and, and you, you look at the wide receivers they got coming back. They got – Jacoby George that's coming back, and then you got Xavier Destropo that's coming back. Yeah, well, Shop is a good player, yeah, absolutely really. good player. And then you got the freshman, you got JoJo Trader, mm-hmm. the freshman that's coming in. But the word that I've been getting on the the, the text uh, uh, thread is mm-hmm. that the defensive front is just. And Matt was a little amazed by this because we got five stars on the offensive line, but he said that defensive front is getting after it pretty yeah. good, led by Ruben Bain Jr., mm-hmm. who's a hell you of a. Got to come up with a nickname for him, man. I got to. Ruben the. You know what? Or uh, know what we're gonna call him? We're going to call them R&B. All right. Rhythm and blues, baby. Yeah, right. R&B. Man, you just named R&B, that. baby. That's what I'm going to call them. Yeah. R&B. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, you know, like I said, He's a this man. is the off season. You know, I'm window shopping when it comes to Miami. I'm not going in the store to buy anything <laughs> until I see them August 31st against Florida. All right. A couple of other ones that are out there. Uh, we had a question on the text line designed by Lifetime Enclosures. Ole Miss, they're going to do it differently. They don't want to showcase anybody. Uh, Lane Kiffin's idea is that if I'm showcasing guys in my spring game, that they may get poached. Yes. Because people are going to have tape on them. This yeah. is a different thought when it comes to actual the, – the spring is supposed to be for guys to be given an opportunity to get tape, and yet that's a thought coming out of uh, Oxford. He's got three quarterbacks right now. I mean, obviously Jackson Dart is his guy, but the other two could easily be poached. Um, they're deep at running back. They're deep at receiver. Yeah, I could, I could easily see someone trying to post it. All right, so LSU's losing Jaden That's a Daniels. playoff team, by the way, this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ole Miss. No doubt about look, it. Look, he is a tremendous coach. They did a lot of things well last year. They were it, really in it for a long time until uh, the Egg Bowl, really all the way through. Before that, they were, you know, they ended up prevailing there. But still, uh, LSU's got to replace. Until they met up with Georgia. Hmm? Until they met up with Georgia. Yeah, Which yeah. can be said about pretty much everybody. Yeah, exactly. LSU's got to replace not just Jaden Daniels, but a bunch of other guys. Yeah, and, and, I mean, we saw what Garrett Nussmeier's done as, as a quarterback. He's a talented kid, man. So, and they've got a lot. He's, we were talking now, Brett, this is Brian Kelly's fourth class coming up. So, mm-hmm. 
you're talking about a guy that has nailed three straight really good recruiting classes. These are his guys now, man. Yeah. And they've got some players. All right. The Really, the last one I think that we should at least – well, Kentucky and Alabama, because Kentucky's got to replace uh, another – Pretty good quarterback. Evan Leary was Vandergrift. Not, Everybody's yeah. interested to see what Vandergrift yeah. does away from Georgia. Yeah, and so is is Vandergrift going to be better there than Devin Leary was the last guy that said I'm I'm leaving so I can go there and it'll be a, a blue paradise for me? And it wasn't. He's I, I think he's more like Levis. Yeah. In the fact that he's he's athletic. Devin Leary wasn't going to run and hurt you. Mm-hmm. Vandergrift can still run. a big enough kid. And, though, and, I'm and Levis could run, but Levis kind of didn't run as much. It's funny because when Levis was at Penn State, he was the run. Mm-hmm. He was the run option at quarterback. He got to, he got to Kentucky, and, and Liam Cohen, the, the OC there, who's now back in the NFL, shut that down quickly. He became a thrower. Um, I, don't, I don't know what happens with Vanny Griffin. Are they still going to use his legs? I would think they would. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Alabama is, of course. That's I, I actually I don't watch spring games. I will watch the Alabama spring game because I want to see well, what what has happened with Jalen Milrow over the last three months under Kalen DeBoer. You know, is it, does he look comfortable now throwing the ball? You know, is he a changed player? A lot like Michael Penix with Kalen DeBoer. With Kalen DeBoer. That's yeah. a good example. It really is. We'll leave it there because that's the guy that, that Kalen DeBoer had Penix before when, you know, from Indiana to Washington, but turned him into His first year, he was a very reliable yeah. player. He did not get sacked that often, even though he had the knee injuries and couldn't take off and run. Uh, Milrow, we know, can run and is dynamic but was developing as a thrower. How much better will DeBoer make him? And then the other part of it is that this is more than a decade and a half that Saban has run a day. There are going to be people that will be looking around, looking for that. That place will be packed. There will be 80,000 people there. I guarantee there will be. I mean, it's – look, he had – Kalen DeBoer had Penix as a true freshman when he was redshirting in Indiana. Yeah. All right? And and he was just a raw mold of clay, ball of clay, right? Mm -hmm. He, He played well at times at Indiana. He still struggled mightily there, even with yeah. the injury, without the injuries. He got to Washington and he completely changed. Yeah. So that's what I want to see what what Milrow looks like in this game, and this will be a very good idea of what it is because they're not going to hide anything in this game because he wants to show the fans this is what it is. Mm-hmm. This is what we got. Let's also not forget that when Penix ultimately played his best, he was what twenty four years old. So yeah, that had a lot to do. I mean, with listen, it I mean, Milrow is now a, a fourth year junior. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. All right, so there you go. A little college football, spring football. You guys can jump in on that subject if you've got a thought as far as some of the stuff that's taking place on your college campus, uh, that's for sure. All right, it's XL Primetime. Back to your Jacksonville uh, Jaguars. Uh, and I do like this suggestion. Hurricane Bane could be his nickname. Hurricane Bane? Hurricane Bane. Well, I mean. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think that it's, is his nickname. I was looking, for your, I was looking for your nickname for him. <laughs> Um, my nickname for him. He went with R&B. R&B. Yeah. Yours is R&B. Yeah. I like yeah. R&B better than Hurricane yeah. Bane. Yeah, but R&B ain't as scary as Hurricane Bane. You know what I mean? Well, it, I mean, his, his uncle was Hurricane Bane. It was yeah. Tobert. Tobert. Tobert uh, Bane. That's yeah. his uncle. Okay. All we right. used to call him Hurricane Bane. All right. I guess I didn't know that. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I've got some Brad Paisley lyrics about our ex poll question that we will bring up. We will get back to the Jaguars draft before our time with head coach Dave Campo, our head coach, uh, is over. Four o'clock hour, you're going to be heading down to Gainesville as the Frangie Show will broadcast live from Spurrier's. Cruising with XL Prime Time in the First Coast Honda Dealer Studios on 1010XL. What's the deal with the show? Around town, around the world. Take 1010XL with you wherever you go. Everyone can hear. Download our free app for Apple and Android devices. Search 1010XL where you get your apps. Mia here, and if you want low payments, then you've got to go to Arlington Toyota Pre-Owned and save today. How does this sound? Just $500 down and only $288 per month gets you a pre-owned 2021 Toyota Corolla. Or you choose a pre-owned 2021 Camry, RAV4, or Tacoma for just $500 down and $388 per month. Plus, Arlington's Credit for Everyone program and 30-day exchange. Don't wait. Save thousands and shop ArlingtonToyota.com today. 
Frank Franzi here for Stanley Pools. There's a reason so many of my friends and our listeners have had Stanley Pools build their pools and now maintain their pools because Stanley Pools truly cares about their customers. Stanley Pools is locally owned and has been serving our community for 35 years. For all of your pool needs, call Stanley Pools at 269-7277. That's Stanley Pools, a family tradition of fine swimming pools. 269-7277 or find them online at stanleypoolsfl.com. Hey, Jacksonville, I'm sure by now you've seen our bright green GFL trucks and containers throughout the greater Jacksonville area. We are an industry leader in solid waste and would love the opportunity to earn your business. We are committed to customer service, reliability, and have unwavering focus on safety. Whether commercial or construction, let us haul your waste away. Call 904-760-5880 to get a quote today. GFL, green for life. For lost or broken keys or nearly any make and model of vehicle, call 722-1111 for Instant Keys. Instant Keys. You don't have to go to the dealer. Instant Keys comes to you. Hey, sports fans. It's Hayes Carlion from my bookie. Oh, it is here. Masters Week, my favorite Tigers in the field. We've got the live golf guys playing in a major again. It is going to be a blast. If you haven't signed up for my bookie, you need to sign up. This is going to be must-see TV, and you can bet long odds for big golf sweats and even bigger cash. Outright winners, first-round leaders, and live betting too. I'm telling you, if you haven't signed up yet for my bookie, do it now for Masters Week. Could the weather in Augusta cause some chaos? Take advantage of that. Make some money. Even if the Masters has started, you can live bet with long odds through Sunday afternoon. Getting started is simple. Sign up today at my bookie and use promo code 1010XL to secure a first deposit bonus up to 50%. It's simple. Just use promo code 1010XL to claim your 50% bonus, $50 minimum. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. This date in sports history is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. On April 12, 1953, Ben Hogan shatters the U.S. Masters Tournament record by scoring a 274 while also securing his second Masters win. Hey folks, Rick Ballou here for John's Auto. They've been a staple in Jacksonville going all the way back to 1985. At John's Auto, they service all makes, all models, cars, trucks, diesel, you name it. They do it. Whether it's routine maintenance or a complete engine overhaul, call John's Auto on Arlington Road. That's 904-743-3857 or go to johnsautomotivejacks.com. David Lane here again for Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. After several surgeries for age-old issues, mainly my back and shoulders, there's no doubt that Southeast Orthopedic Specialists is my sustaining resource for living pain-free. Take it from me, and I'm being really honest here, there's no better orthopedic facility here in Jacksonville. Relieve pain and get back to life. Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. Patriot Roofing Services, specializing in all types of commercial and residential roofing and repairs, gutters, sun tubes, skylights as well. 10-year workmanship warranty, financing available, military and senior citizen discounts, no subcontractors. Mention this ad at the time of the estimate and receive $500 off any new re-roof. Call Mark today, 982-4052, 982-4052, licensed and insured. Our slogan, Know Before You Blow, applies to more than just DUI cases. Hi, I'm attorney Lee Lockett of Lockett Law. Battery charges can result in jail time and criminal convictions too, so know before you blow a gasket and hit a loved one or a stranger. Drug crimes like possession of marijuana and cocaine will land you in cuffs too, so know before you blow. In a boating under the influence case, you also have the option to blow or not to blow. So know your options. Know Before You Blow. Go to knowbeforeyoublow.com now. Office is Jacksonville. The Jacksonville Icemen are playoff bound. There are three regular season home games left. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Star Veterans Memorial Arena. The Icemen fight for a division title this weekend, starting Friday against the Savannah Ghost Pirates. The first 1,000 fans get a Fang the Mascot bobblehead. Then Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 3, it's the Atlanta Gladiators. Get tickets at Ticketmaster, JacksonvilleIceman.com, or call 904-602-PUCK. Icemen Hockey is hashtag FireWithin. 
Whether you're in need of a simple AC repair or it's time to upgrade your HVAC system, DuckDuck Air Conditioning is here to help. Give us a call today to schedule an estimate, 904-862-6769 or online at DuckDuckAC.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville, this is XL Primetime. Brought to you by Florida Home AC. Now that's cool on 1010XL. Got some movement at the top of that leaderboard, and that's for sure. 20 minutes in front of the 4 o'clock hour, we've been talking college football with spring games all coming up tomorrow. Talking Augusta, where you got Max Holm at the top, DeChambeau at the top, you got Scheffler at the top. They're all right now at six under par. And then Nikolai Hoygaard is the next guy that's on the board four under. Danny Willett's holding up right now. So is Ryan Fox. I-, I told you that you'd see Ryan Fox and then like a fox, boom, gone. You won't see him again, but he's at least hanging on. He's at four under that. par. Uh, Cam Davis is an Aussie. He's only won once on the PGA Tour, but he's finished up today uh, with a little three underscore, so he's looking pretty good. Uh, and then you got my man, Oberg, who went from uh, – started one over – fell all the way to two over in this second round and has fought back to a three underscore. So that means in a stretch from the eighth to the 15th hole, 16th hole, I should say, he has played five under golf. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So he's on the move. That's the first timer uh, that's made it there and is already turning heads, that's for sure. All right, let's finish our conversation up with uh, our head coach, Dave Campo, uh, with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the idea, like we said, you can come up with any combination. And I don't know uh, that it's a perfect recipe uh, if you go offensive line, cornerback, edge rusher, you know, whatever you come up with. But one thing's for sure. When we've done our mocks, Coach, it looks like it is a really deep cornerback class. It's a fairly deep wide receiver class. There's a bunch of offensive linemen that you better grab early because they're going to go pretty quickly. Those seem to be the deepest position. Yeah, and and uh, you know the and then you look at some like the deep defensive line. Mm-hmm. It's Interior, not very yeah. deep, right? So you know, to me, I think there's going to be guys at that 17th pick that no matter who you take, you're going to be getting one of the better players in this year's draft, and that's unusual. Like for example, you know, you could find an offensive lineman mm-hmm. in that 17th pick that you would take. You know, if you're in need of an alignment, it has a chance to be like Harrison or, you know, guys that we took, the guy we right. took If you're last taking year. an offensive lineman at 17, he's starting, correct? Uh, I, as far as I'm concerned, yeah. yeah, because that's, you know. Uh, They're not in position to take a guy at 17 and have him sit. Yeah. I don't think so, unless you're talking about a rotational along the defensive front. Or you push him it. to guard. Or, or you, you push him to guard. offensive lineman to guard. Right. But, right. but think about this, Matt. If they do go get any of these – the, the, the guys that we have picked, Fontenu, Fuanga, whomever. Starter, starter. They're all, but they're all being viewed as a tackle that goes inside to compete. Yeah. Then, then, then what are you well, saying Fuanga about that? Fuanga isn't. Fontenu yeah. is. Yeah, but yeah, what Fontenu do you, is. Then what are you saying about the signing of Ezra Cleveland if, you, if you're going to draft a guy well, you, well, to you replace Well, you can't guarantee you're going to get somebody at 17. So you no, 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 I understand. I, yourself, I, 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 I understand completely. But, and, and Ezra wasn't that pricey. No, he wasn't. He wasn't that pricey. But I mean, you gave him twenty four million. Yeah, you know, it's and, true. And if you if you go and draft his replacement, essentially, because C-O-D-B, if you dra- baby. Yeah, I ain't got no problem with it. Uh-huh. I don't got no problem with it. <laughs> I don't have a problem you, with it at all. If you can get Fuanga there at seventy for some you, reason, that's C O D B, baby. Listen, yeah. if you got an issue, go get a tissue. <laughs> and no crying in football. Yeah, and, and, and look, you got to beat that guy out. Yeah. Okay, you're the vet. That's the rook. You got to beat that guy out, and you did get paid, and so mm-hmm. you better compete because if you did get paid as a starter and you get beat out, you're not going to be on. You're not going to see the end of that contract. Absolutely, and that's basically the way they got to look at this bad boy. <clears throat> and so, essentially, is you your draft board. You can explain this a little bit to the to the listeners out there. Your draft board. You're putting value grades on each one, importance importance of position on each one, and then it just slowly starts to wane prospects come off the board and you got to be ready to react right and and when i'm looking at the draft the way it's going to come out you can look at 20 different mock drafts Mm -hmm. and they'll all be different Mm -hmm. 
you don't know what's going to happen on yeah. that pick until you get close to it. And that's when you make a decision. You, you even start grouping guys that are left mm-hmm. at that point. You mm-hmm. get to number 14, 15. It's like Emmett Smith. When we got him in Dallas, we had to jump the Giants because we knew we were getting close. Right. And so you grouped it and you said, okay, if we don't jump now, we're not going to get him. And that's, that's how you make that decision. Because you guys also picked him because you needed a running back. You needed well, a you needed a guy you can give the ball to twenty five times and he's yeah gonna, and he's because gonna, we were going to take a running back at yeah. that spot no matter what uh, that him or him that, that's true right right so that's, that's kind of my point is I, I think the problem right now when you say you, you got to have an offensive lineman or you got to have a defensive lineman you know why you're in the point where you got to have that or got to have that or got to have a corner you know why you're there because you took tight end in the second round and running right. back in the third round last right. year mm-hmm. that's there, why there, you're there no, there's no doubt right about that I mean it, it's uh, what you would like to have happen in your build is take the free agents when you're starting, and then once you get kind of established, then you start taking the draft picks. Mm-hmm. For example, the reason we got going back in the day with the Cowboys was Plan B free agency and then the trade for Herschel Walker. That was what propelled us. So what they did two years ago with the draft put them into position to start drafting. Well, they didn't draft well last year. You it's, know, not that, a, it's not only that they didn't draft well and get, and get players that made impacts immediately. They took the wrong position. That's what I'm saying. They, they and, did not draft Two of well. the top seven, 80 picks, they took the wrong position. Right. Yeah, the, look, we can we can go down that road over and over and over. So uh, I, you, you can, and, and I know the argument is, well, he you know he'd rather have a free agent and impact, which is just ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. You draft players and to be part them. of your team right. for a longer period of time because it's on cheaper a, on, a, yeah. on a cheaper level. It's cheaper, absolutely. Yeah. You're it's cheaper. also more than likely going to yeah. get a better player yes. if you draft. Yeah, you got to right. draft well. You got to do your. You've got to do your due diligence, and because a draft, a bad drafts kill franchises. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> they kill franchises. Those two picks are. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, again, I think they both can end up being pretty good players, but positionally, mm-hmm. they really set them back. Those two picks. All right, so let's listen to the position that was selected 17th overall as we count down 17 years of that 17th pick in the first round as we move to 2014. With the 17th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select C.J. Mosley, linebacker, Alabama. Seventeenth pick overall. Good player. That was another one of those uh, Bama studs on the defensive side of the ball. Good player. Oh yeah. It, look, they they went for a while with a lot of really really good ones. Upshaws, Mosleys. You can go down the line with the guys that were coming, either playing linebacker or playing off the edge. Uh, but, those are not difficult picks either, Joe. Yeah. Those are okay. C.J. Mosley, good player, linebacker. Pick him. Yeah. Not that difficult to make that well, pick. But not all Bama players did that. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. True. But I'm yeah. saying that you you sometimes it's very easy. The thing, the thing I want to – what Dave to talk about is drafts don't live in a vacuum, right, Dave? Like, they, they are affected, and they impact other drafts. Oh, yeah. And free agency. Right. So it's not just like, okay, we'll just get this guy. That's kind of my thing with – you can't just randomly say, oh, let's we'll take the best player available. Oh, Brendan Strange, there, he's the best player available. Let's get him. Yeah. Well, you can't you, do that. Yeah. They were mixing – I always believe you're mixing it with need, some level well, of Well, that's what I was just yeah. going to say. Yeah. Uh, w- Look, when you put that draft board up there, you can say, okay, we have this guy graded this, 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 and put them in the order. But what they do at the end is they group the players, and part of that grouping is based on need. Mm -hmm. In other words, what positions do I uh, think that affects what grade I put them on? Back when we did it, you would have grades on all the guys, and then this week, Going into this draft you, you, right now, yeah. you're getting together, and the guys that make the final decision on where those guys are put on the draft board are the decision makers. Yeah. That's They've when it goes to the top of the pyramid. Yeah. You could have a guy with an 8-3 mm-hmm. here and a guy with an 8-1 above him. Yeah, right. Because it's, those... it, it, You put the draft board the way you think it should right. come off for you to take the best available player. Right. Now, if you've done your homework, 
when you say best available player, if uh, Harrison drops to 17 and you've got him graded as a number one player on your draft board, you have to think long and hard you run about and not taking him yeah. at 17. You run the card up, yeah. But if it gets to that group of players – that are at 17, and you have four or five guys there, mm-hmm. then you take the one you need. Yeah. Not, the, not the grade. The grade puts him in that, in in that, that box. That's the exactly. analysis you've done, and exactly. then you're going to need. All exactly. right, now, we need to get ready for the Frangie Show, and I want you guys, if you're out there, as we pay off our X poll here in just a second, RJ, um, this, this XL Primetime listener has penned a great uh, lyric with the question that we had today. If your wife let you know that she had gone into labor and you're on the back nine on Sunday with the lead, trying to win a green jacket, would you walk off the golf course? This one text in. Uh, in the great lyrics of Brad Paisley, and you guys can picture, uh, uh, I'm going to miss her. Can you, like you country fans oh, out yeah. there, you can picture this song, Well, I'm going to miss her. Well, this is the lyrics that he put together. Well, I love her, but I love to golf. I spend all day out on this golf course. And hell is all I catch. But today, she met me at the ward, said I would have to choose. If I hit that golf course today, she'd be packing all her things. And she'd be gone to deliver. Yeah, I'm going to miss her. Oh, looky there. (laughs) I've got a green jacket. Round of applause right there, my man. (laughs) That was excellent work. No doubt about it. Oh, I'm yes. gonna have to. I'm gonna have to stop for some roses on the way home. I can see that right now. I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> so good, so good. All right, we're gonna miss all of you, uh, all of Duval. We had a great time uh, with XL Prime Time. We got to send it down Gainesville's way from this bill to that bill uh, because they're set up at Spurrier's. We've got our anthem that we leave Friday afternoon with with our big hair, heavy metal. So we say thanks to all of you, Joe C. Coach Dave Campo hanging out with us today. Matty Hayes, Big Leon Cersei, and R.J. Saunders. It is XL Primetime, and you've got the Branches Show coming up next. Come on, Joe. That ain't good enough. You got to slap the blood out of my mouth. Let's go, baby. Whoa! Riding in the First Coast Honda Dealer Studio.